we've learned that the KWL chart helps bring order to your research. Once you're set up, the KWL chart will help you organize what you know, want to know, and learned. Following this tutorial, you will be able to format text and tables, use Google Docs research tool, add links, and set up a split screen. Now let's connect the tech. Select the apps to complete the KWL strategy. You will need a word processing app and a text-to-speech app. In this tutorial, we are using Google Docs and Read and Write for Google. You can also use an online mind mapping tool. It's time to set up for success. From your Chrome browser, click the Apps tab and launch Google Docs. Create a new blank document. Name your file. Quick tip, choose page setup and select landscape to improve the display of your chart. Now that we're set up, let's give it a try. To begin, insert a table with three columns and two rows. Type know, want to know, and learned across the three columns. Bold, center, and increase font size. You can also add background color for a professional look. For added impact, choose Table, Properties, Adjust Border Width, Cell Padding, and Center Table. No. Begin completing the KWL chart. Add everything you already know about the topic. Quick tip. If you like, brainstorm using an online mind mapping tool and add a link to your chart. Now, consider your ideas. Decide what interests you the most. Want to know. What about your area of interest do you want to know more about? Add questions. Quick tip. Pull down the Read and Write for Google toolbar. Position your cursor and select Speech Input to turn your speech into text. Is there a museum of baseball? Learned. Preliminary research on the questions you have can be done directly from Google Docs. From the main toolbar, select Tools and Research. Notice the new window that opens at the right side of the screen. Type a question. Select a resource to view. Right-click and choose Open in New tab. Click the tab to view the page. Open Read and Write for Google and select Simplify. Read the text or hit play on the Read and Write for Google toolbar and have it read to you. Highlight key information using the highlight tools. Quick tip. After reading and annotating, split your screen for easy reference between your KWL chart and online source. Grab a browser tab, pull down to separate into a new browser window, resize and shift to one side of the screen. Repeat with the second tab. With your cursor in the column marked Learned, navigate to the web results and select Insert Link to keep a record of your sources. Record the date retrieved and type a summary of your findings from that source. If you like, right-click with your cursor in the column and select Insert Column Right. Add the title, Still Want to Know. Continue your research using a variety of sources. Let's recap. The KWL chart helps bring order to your research by organizing what you know, want to know, and learned about a topic.